The first solar eclipse of 2024 is set to occur on April 8, 2025. Although not observable from India, this total solar eclipse will sweep across North America, passing over Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Such eclipses are exceptionally rare for any given location, with Royal Museum's Greenwich noting that once a place witnesses one, it could be around 400 years before the next occurrence. For the first time in almost a century, the western and northern parts of New York State will experience a total eclipse. The path of totality, a narrow stretch where the moon obscures the sun entirely, tracks across cities and has set the USA into a tizzy. The April 8 eclipse is a total solar eclipse, which is rare because it requires precise alignment between the sun, moon, and earth, according to space agency NASA. During this, the moon must be positioned directly between the earth and the sun, blocking out the sun's light. However, because the moon's orbit around the earth is slightly tilted compared to earth's orbit around the sun, this alignment does not occur frequently. During a total solar eclipse, the sky will darken, resembling dawn or dusk. If weather conditions permit, watches within the eclipse's path can see the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, which is typically veiled by the sun's brightness. Also, NASA is flying special research planes to chase the shadow among many other experiments. Though the entire event will last for several hours, the main spectacle, when day turns to night, is expected to last only about 4 minutes when there will be total darkness. The solar eclipse will start at 9.12 pm IST and the totality which means when the sun is fully covered by the moon will begin at 10.08 pm and last until 2.22 am IST on April 9th. In Pacific time, totality will start around 11.07 am on April 8th along the Pacific coast of Mexico. The eclipse will move across North America, ending near Mene around 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. Here are the types of solar eclipses. This occurs when the moon completely covers the sun, blocking all direct sunlight. During totality, the sky darkens dramatically, and the sun's corona becomes visible. These types of eclipses are considered the most beautiful. In a partial solar eclipse, the moon partially covers the sun, creating a crescent shape. In this case, observers will notice a reduction in sunlight. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is too far away from the earth to completely cover the sun's disk. This results in a ring of sunlight, or an annulus, around the dark silhouette of the moon. A hybrid solar eclipse is when the type of eclipse changes between annular and total as the moon's shadow moves across the curved surface of the earth. Also, the reason why Aditya L1 will miss the total solar eclipse is that the satellite is placed appropriately at a location that provides an uninterrupted 24 by 7, 365 day view of the sun. The Indian scientists chose a spot to ensure that the satellite's view is never blocked due to an eclipse. ISRO chairman S. Somanath stated that Aditya L1 spacecraft will not see the solar eclipse as the moon is behind the spacecraft. At the Lagrange point 1, the eclipse that is visible on Earth doesn't have much significance at that location.